I saw John Cage one time at the Pompidou Center in Paris. David Tudor was with him, several other people, and they were playing with uh, Merce Cunningham. John Cage would just go, ooh, this is a microphone. He didn't use his hand. Well, he did kind of have his hand. No, he didn't have his hand behind it. Very specific memory. Ooh, ooh, ee. I thought, man, that was just amazing. It was so incredible. So I've always liked that. I like John Kitt. So in the past 10 or 15 years, I wanted to take things that were different from my past, which were a band called Curlew, um, um, written music for the most part, kind of Ornetti and other bands and groups that were improvised and I always thought that was a perfect piece of music to improvise on any given moment. I also uh, worked with Ornette Coleman a little bit when I first moved to New York City. I, I want things to be distinctive. Everybody I loved in music, <laughs> and you too, of course, right? You know, this, this guy's indistinct. I don't like him. Kind of a silly thing to say. So anyway, my music these days feels like that <laughs> that fried egg you dumped into, was it going to be a fried egg, you dumped into the pan and the yolk broke. I have a couple of other little, you know, tidbits like that that don't really particularly matter, but I like the things to, you start one way and you end up someone else. That's almost like things happen like that. So taking things that people give me like if someone gives me like I have notes I can give myself notes I can give myself people I can give myself other people's music I can give people my music and we do something imp improvising with it kind of the first piece uh, plural freak if you didn't read it I sent the music to five of my buddies and they sent music back and they I, no, I didn't send music I just sent instructions and they sent back what they sent they had no idea none of them heard what the other one did I like that that's a compositional concept as far as I'm concerned and then I took what they sent and I worked it to what I felt was the best thing I could do with that music to make it into a piece that would be worthwhile. It's kind of like saying I'm going to write a sonata in B flat. You know, you have your outside structures and stuff that you make for yourself. It's really no different. And I like to, with the things I've sent in, especially the, the last one, if you get around to it, it's kind of a social commentary. And also the uh, Chester Himes, one is kind of a social commentary, if you will, if you will, if you will. Oh, I said that too. three times. Anyway, that's kind of my thing. Keep going forward. I, you know, write, I write to occasionally write notes and put in these things. I did a piece where I had one person play a line and another person play to the line, but they never heard the rest of the piece. You know, they're little, but then I take it and try and make it work as best I can. Sometimes I give hand signals. Could they be better? Maybe I'll redo them. I don't know. Who knows? I guess we'll find out. Hey, thanks a lot. I appreciate your time.